Hi there everybody, Grim Repair here. So you want to put a newer modern fuel injection motor into your older car. Ever since the early 90s they started using these nylon fuel hoses with quick connect ends on them. And your older car is going to have something like this with a threaded end on it or maybe it's just a, a hose and you got a hose and a hose clamp in an older carbureted car. And some guys are just using ho rubber hose and hose clamps, and it's not a matter of if, but when that's going to leak. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get this to accept this. If this video helps you out, be sure to subscribe and give us a like. So to get these quick connects off, there's, there's plastic ones. There's plastic ones and there's metal ones. Uh, this style of plastic one, you just squeeze the tabs here. You want to pull it toward toward you and it just comes right off. On this metal style one, you're gonna need one of these special tools. They're pretty cheap, so I'd suggest going and getting one. Slide it on to the fuel line there, and you're gonna pull, push the connector and the tool toward each other, and it just slides off. And these just have these little tangs in there that, that grab onto this lip. And after you get that off, you're going to want to make the line and cut it to the length you need. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So from your donor car, because this line's probably not going to be the right length or the right shape, you're going to want to take a razor blade and cut down the nylon and slide the quick connect out so you can reconnect it to the length of tubing that you need. All right, so to make your nylon fuel line, you're going to want to cut this quick connect out of the donor car. Get yourself some nylon fuel line. And a lot of guys will just heat these up in hot water and they'll force this into there. And that works pretty well most of the time. Um, I got a tool here though that I'd like to show you. It's made by Dorman. It's a nylon fuel line repair kit. Uh, it's kind of spendy, but it, it makes it nice. I don't think it's necessary to get, but if you're doing a lot of them, it, it, it helps. So you're going to take the quick connect fitting, slide it on to here. And you're going to figure out which size you need. We're going to be using this, this bottom one here. So we're going to put this uh, jig, I guess you'd call it, on to the bottom hole for the slide. I'll show you how to do that. Gonna slide the nylon tube into the corresponding size. You want to give it a little bit extra hanging out. You're gonna put one of these screws in. Let's flip this over here. Threaded's on this end. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to put this in as close to the slide as we can, give it the most clamping force on that. Oop. I have a little bit hanging out there, just a little bit. Make it nice and snug. I'm gonna take another one, put it as close to the fuel line as you can, give it the most clamping force. We're going to, have to flip it over because the holes on the other side here. Clamp it down nice and snug, and now you just squeeze it like a caulking gun. Make sure that the quick connect fitting is centered with the nylon tubing. Keep squeezing it. Until it's fully seated. The, the nylon tubing is all the way up to this bottom ridge on the quick connect. 
Then you loosen up the jig. And there it is. Got yourself a quick cut. You're gonna you're gonna cut it to length. What you need. Put the other end on the uh, the car side. This the fuel. This goes. This side goes to the fuel rail. The other side goes to the uh, hard line from the car, and cut it to length. And that's how you make yourself a custom nylon fuel line. I'll put a link in the description for this this tool. Now, on your older car, the car you're swapping the the newer motor into, you're gonna have a line probably similar to this. It's gonna have a threaded end on it. Or maybe it even just has a little groove and you're using a hose and a hose clamp on a carbureted engine. So what you're going to want to do on the hard line is you're going to want to cut it as close to the engine, probably. Depends on the car, I guess. You're going to want to cut it with the tubing cutter. And you're going to want to remove this fitting. So we got the fitting off. We're going to take the deburring tool on the tubing cutter and prep this line. Just stick it in there, twist. All right, now that we got that all nice and smooth, I'm gonna show you another tool. It's a bit spindy, but if you're gonna build a car and you're gonna modify the fuel lines or you're gonna modify the brake lines, I suggest you get it. It's gonna save you a lot of time running around looking for fittings that may not exist. and. The parts guys won't look at you like you're crazy when you ask for them. It's a master cool universal flaring tool. I'll put a link in the description. It'll do uh, inverted flares, regular old flares. It'll make quick connect fittings and you can even buy other other dies and do do other things. But this is definitely a tool that I wish I had known about sooner. I do not regret buying it at all. It has been great. The ones we're going to be interested in, because this is a 3 8 line, are the 3 8 quick connect die. You want to have at least uh, 2 inches of straight section so that this can go on here and everything will be centered. So you're going to just, so you're going to just clamp the tube inside of the die and you want the end to be flush. And they make it real easy because this thing here flips over and it flushes it. I'm going to slide that into there. Pop that there. Push it in. Make sure that it's flush. You want to get it good and tight. Now we're going to twist the handle, moving the die set together. We're going to twist it till it stops. Then we're going to close the valve here. We're going to actuate, actuate the hydraulic ram. And you can see that that's pressing in there. We're going to go all the way till it stops. Open the valve. We're going to twist it counterclockwise. This will split the die set up so that the tube can be removed. Loosen that. And now we have a factory style quick connect end on this hard line that we can slide our quick connect onto. And that's going to be set up just like factory. You're going to cut cut the other end, cut it. 
You're going to cut this to length, plug it in on your fuel rail, do the same thing for the return and the supply lines, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.